So as you guys can see, hopefully my face is in focus, I'm using my iPhone, but just getting done here in the morning, it's about 10, 17. Gonna go get my lift in now. I've already had a protein shake, serious mass by Optimum Nutrition, and about 16 ounces of water. And then I also had this energy drink, which is not around me right now, but I'll show you guys that over the screen. And yeah, so I'm gonna go home, probably have a little bit of a meal, which I'll show you before I eat, or excuse me, before I lift, if I do have anything. And yeah, I'll show you guys that. Gonna give you guys like a full day of eating, kind of give you an update on how my training and how everything's been going, and what you should do if you kind of have a little bit of an obstacle or stumble while you're bulking. So, stay tuned. All right, guys. So, kind of getting to the topic of this video. Um, basically, I just wanted to talk to you and let you know um, about what I've been doing to get back on this bulk that I'm trying to stick with. And the main thing I wanted to kind of get through your head, guys, is that it's going to take time and you're going to have obstacles that are thrown in your way. So this is kind of just summing up that <laughs> the world is not perfect in terms of your fitness goals and there's gonna be little things that come up in life that will um, just kind of alter your ability to eat properly, train properly, and just feel like you're getting the most out of every day in terms of um, your goals fitness wise. So that's kind of the main thing I wanna start out with and I'll kind of leave you with that until I get home and make breakfast. So I just got home from the gym a little bit ago. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that edit by my buddy Mark. Um, as you guys saw, the session went really well. I'm um, feeling good this week, just get back in the swing of things, but kind of going back into the topic I was talking to you guys about earlier before I started the session, it's just one of those things where you gotta get right back on the horse. So once you kind of fall off, things get out of whack, throw obstacles get thrown in your kind of just daily life, 
kind of have to regroup, kind of be versatile and kind of um, just fight through adversity when it comes to little things because all those little things that kind of tear you down are also going to be the little things that you need to put back together that will kind of make the difference. So um, for instance, kind of what I'm talking about, just getting the proper amount of meals in for me. So that's a big thing, just planning, being consistent. I don't mean plan out strategic like Tupperware, meal one, meal two, meal three, but just having meat on deck, just some sort of chicken, either um, eggs, having things in the house that I know I can eat. So that's a huge tip. Just prepare, make sure that you're feeling good and make sure that you feel um, like you have a meal on hand that you can eat at all times and um, you're not having to run out and get a, a fast food meal or something that's not so healthy and more expensive. So, so as you guys saw already this morning, I had my serious mass shake and I also had a bunch of water with that along with my energy drink. So just a ton of liquids, followed that up with my pre-workout, which I had before my workout. And that's about 20 more ounces of water. So definitely hydrate up in the morning. It's a good way to kind of make sure that you're feeling good for the rest of the day and staying hydrated. Followed that up with a meal. Um, I had, I'll show you guys over the top of this, um, chicken stir fry, about six ounces of meat. And then I also had veggies with that and ba basmati rice, about three fourths of a cup. And that's just a good staple meal of mine. I always have that on deck pretty much so I can eat that at any time. And then I followed that up with some pizza. So I cut out my eggs and I cut out my bacon, my normal breakfast this morning, which kind of helped me out because then I was able to eat a little bit more pizza without feeling like I was gonna go super high on my fats. But in the long haul, if I did have both of those, it wouldn't matter too much, especially being on a bulk. But that's kind of my own body type, so you kind of have to know yourself, and that's kind of what this whole thing is about, just figuring out your own body type, what you can get away with, and kind of the specifics that you should be hitting um, macronutrient-wise, and even just things in the gym, just kind of figuring out what works for you and your own body, because realistically, everyone's different. So kind of try things out and experiment, and then kind of from there, you'll have more kind of almost data on yourself that will help you in the long haul. So if you guys are wondering why the whole topic of conversation is being brought up, it's because of kind of me going through these actual struggles right now and um, weeks prior to this as well. So I've kind of been broken down and by that I mean my weight itself is kind of been dwindling over the past couple weeks because of a number of reasons which I'll kind of inform you and you guys probably already know if you've been following the channel closely. Um, basically what had happened was um, I just went to vacation and um, being that I was on vacation I was enjoying myself I wasn't worried about things and I'm completely content with the fact that I did that and basically I just under ate and that was the main thing so being that I under ate a lot of times for me in my body type being leaner someone who has trouble putting on size more so than taking it off I, I dwindled down and when I was moving and by that I mean we were always doing things. We were on our feet a lot doing um, activities and just chilling out on the beach playing catch running around and we're out in the hot sun. So I'm eating less and I brought protein, I brought my mask in but still it just wasn't enough. So I lost weight, came back, came back home around 149 and I left around 156. So and even at 156 when I left I was feeling really lean, I had a six pack. Um, I wasn't by any means shredded or stage ready, um, but I was probably about eight weeks out to be perfectly honest. I was talking to Chris Elkins, if you guys know who that is, I sent him a few pictures um, of some posing and my current conditioning and he, he was saying, yeah, you're probably even less than eight weeks out um, and that was before I left. So point being I came back even leaner than that so I really filled out once I got back started eating normal again and from there that's when I started feeling better in the gym and that week I got home once I kind of um, finished that week up and started um, my second week back home which was last week I started to feel a lot better but Tuesday came last week so I had mo uh, Sunday and Monday session and I felt great so that was my second week back in and then I got sick and I got sick like the, the worst sickness I've had in like two or three years and really, the, the point I'm trying to make is that set me back even further. So I had lost all of the weight that I had put back on from coming home from vacation. And I even lost more than that. So when I looked at the scale, after like three days of not eating, I was about 156 pounds. Or excuse me, 146 pounds. So um, I would wish I was 156 pounds um, when I looked at the scale. But... The point I'm trying to make is that was last week, like I said. So right now it's um, Thursday of the following week. So I've been basically eating normal again for about 
um, this whole week and um, so about five days and I'm already back up to um, 154 this morning I was 153.6 and last night before I went to bed I was around 155 um, and the night before that was 156 um, so my, my point guys is just get back into doing what you know works and obviously you have to find what works first but if you're someone who has been there and you've had the weight on I've been up to 164 before that's the heaviest I've ever been and I, I wasn't by any means um, shredded I didn't have a crazy six pack but you could see my abs you could see some va uh, some vascularity when I was doing some um, uh, when I was doing my workouts my point is you have to know your body know what worked and don't stress about it because the stress is not going to help you and um, it's just not going to help the cause overall. So um, to finish up this video, I hope this kind of just gives you some insight. I know I gave you guys a few tips before, but the main thing that I'm going to kind of sum this up with is just get back on track. And if that doesn't um, resonate with you, if that doesn't really make sense, and if you're not really, you don't have something to lean back onto, um, that's okay because it's all a game. You got to find out what works. Um, I've only done this. I've been doing this for about three years now, two and a half years, and I'm brand new to this. I'm finding new things about myself out every day. So that's all it's about: figuring out what works best for you guys. And um, from there, you really just have to use that data and use that um, experience and put it to use when you kind of are confronted with these sort of issues. So same thing can be applied to a lot of things in life, but. That's kind of what I'm gonna wrap this up with. Um, last night, um, this is kind of the next day, but basically I, yesterday for um, to finish up my macros, I was just kind of focusing on hitting my protein. So I had another mass gainer shake, and then I had another meal of the same exact meal you saw. So the rice stir fry, and um, that was pretty much all I had um, before bed. And then I just had like a Quest bar to finish off my macros, like I said, protein wise. So that's kind of what I did yesterday in terms of meal meals and um, today I'm gonna get back on track more so I'll probably do a little bit more vlogging for you guys but just wanted to wrap this up kind of give you that last tip to take home so don't want to make this video too long hopefully you guys enjoy this style of the video is very different I know it's more of like a, almost like a vlog style but try to keep it informative because that's the main thing I want to do with this channel so thank you for watching if you are still watching and I will see you guys in the next one please comment and um, thumbs up always help make sure you guys are interacting with me I really do enjoy that so peace out have a good day guys